All right, it is the second date update right now. Uh, Tommy has reached out to us about his date with Casey. Uh, he said that everything went really, really well on their date. They went to Kona Grill, um, enjoyed everything about her. All right, so let's try to call Casey right now. Hello. Hi, good morning. Is this Casey? Yeah, this is Casey. Hey, Casey, sorry to bother you this morning. This is actually JR, Lana, and Kevin over here at 99.5 QYK. How you doing? Um, oh, I'm sorry. Where are you from? Well, we're from 99.5 QYK. It's JR, Lana, and Kevin. Okay, I, I, I know you guys. Why are you calling me? <laughs> well, we wanted to see if we could talk to you for a second um, on the air, actually about a guy in your life. Would it be cool if we just asked you a couple questions? I know that's weird, but just real quick. Um, I don't know. I have work in a few minutes, but just, you know, what's up? Okay, here's what's up. We want to talk to you about this date you went on uh, with uh, Tommy. We heard about you guys going to the Kona Grill. We heard you guys... Heard about you guys uh, hitting it off, and he said that things went really, really well. He thought that you were just like the complete package, but has not heard from you since your guys' date and wants to know what's going on. So we were just trying to figure that out. Yeah, I'm not going to even like waste my breath on, on this guy. He was extremely rude. He was very inconsiderate. Um, so, yeah, that, that's, that's kind of the extent of it. Uh, okay. Can we ask how he was inconsiderate? Uh, I guess. I mean, when, when we were together, um, the drink orders came. And, you know, I was asked if I wanted to get a drink for myself. And I told the waiter, no, I don't drink. Like, I'm good. And, you know, he goes ahead. Tommy orders a cocktail right in front of me. And, I, you know, like, wh what kind of guy does that? You know, I'm, I'm not drinking. And he doesn't know why. But, I mean, it doesn't even matter why. Like, why would you do that in front of someone that clearly doesn't want to be around alcohol? Um, so, yeah, he just, he messed up. And I, I don't want to be around that type of energy and that type of guy that clearly has no common sense. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I, w I will tell you, I don't think he knew he offended you in any way, shape, or form by ordering a drink. He didn't even mention that. So I'm sorry that happened. Um, I guess we'll just... <laughs> we actually have Tommy on the phone with us, Casey. Do you mind if we bring him back on? Because, like, again, I, 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 he had no idea that he offended you in that way. I don't care, really. Okay. Tommy. Wow. Uh, <clears throat> Casey, uh I did not know you felt so strongly about alcohol. I thought that you just didn't drink. I didn't know it meant that I couldn't either. I mean, I don't want to offend you. I, let me apologize. I, I, I didn't know that you felt so strongly about it. I had no idea. I didn't want to, I didn't know I offended you. Really? Like, this is like such a big mystery to you, like why somebody would be mad that you're drinking in front of them? Like, you could have ordered anything else, literally anything and you chose to order a cocktail, like it's so awkward for me to just be sitting there without wow. you know, any drink and you drinking in front of me. Well, I, I had no idea that you felt that other people couldn't drink around you. I really didn't know that. If I did, I would have ordered something different. Like, I, I, I didn't know, like, I, I, you must have like a, you know, some kind of history with alcohol and I didn't know that. No, what, what? That, that's none of your business. The reason I don't drink is none of your business, okay? But like, I expect you not to drink if you're on a date with me. And, you know, it's my personal choice not to drink, okay? And so you shouldn't even be questioning why. Ugh. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm clearly making this worse. And you know what? Let me apologize. That's not what I want to do. I really like you. I, 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 I like a lot of things about you. I like that you speak your mind like you're clearly doing now. So let me apologize again and just tell me what I could do to make this right. There, there's nothing you can do. This is already in the past. Like... What, what, what do you want from me? Well, I feel like he didn't understand that he was doing something wrong by ordering a drink. And so, I mean, if he, he didn't pick up on the clue, that's on him, I guess, you know. Uh, but I don't think he was doing anything intentional. I mean, would you be no. willing to hang out with him again? Because he said he can order something different next time. I mean, yeah, I'll order a water, you know, next time. What? No. Look, you don't have to be a smart ass, okay? You don't need oh, to wow. order water. There's like a million other drinks you could have gotten. Man, I, I don't know how to make this better. Well, what about doing a reset here? What about going out again? And and now he knows, Casey. No. I mean, the damage is done. I just, I don't want to see him again. Okay. Wow. Okay. Dang. Wow. 
All right, Tommy. Well, um, I'm sorry. I guess it was kind of a bad read on your part. I mean, but you didn't know. And um, uh, I just not going to work out with Casey. But um, now you know what's going on. I, I do. It's kind of weird, but okay, man. I guess I screwed up. Maybe next time, if a woman doesn't order alcohol, I won't be either. <laughs> All right, man. Well, listen, thanks for reaching out to us. You have a great day. You too. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you, Casey, for your time. Thanks.